Musician Romel Sims is playfully known as a modern day Renaissance man with style to match. Jazz is everyday life. My earliest influence uh, within jazz, I would have to say, uh, my grandmother. And in her basement, she had this picture of the great Count Basie. Um, phenomenal jazz pianist, arranger, uh, just a master of the music. And I'd always look at that picture, like ever since I was like a boy. And I'd be like, man, who is that man? You just see the silhouette and like this light on him and him like sitting at the piano. And I always thought it was cool. I didn't necessarily know at that time that that was jazz music or that he was affiliated with it, but I felt a vibe from that picture and it, it, it meant a lot to me and I, I still have it to this day. My primary is trumpet, and I realized in my journey with this horn is that she's very demanding in the sense that you have to um, respect her in a sense. And some people say, you know, I'm battling with my horn, and I realized over time that it is you, it's just an extension of you. It's, it's all art, it's all freedom, and it's all self-expression. my journey uh, at the Cincinnati Conservatory of Music. Um, as far as like the jazz program there, I'm very thankful for it because of these two main people, uh, Craig Bailey and Dr. Scott Belt. As far as like my major is jazz from performance and studying the music outside of just the notes, because it's much more than that. A lot of people uh, say that, you know, jazz is this, jazz is that. And to me, it's your own interpretation of it to a certain extent. I'm in this paradox uh, because at one point it's like, I have my own voice, you know, already. And there's also this sense of discovery. You know, I'm 21 years young and uh, I know I don't have it all together, but I'm willing to go through this journey um, called life. And through my journey so far, I realize um, I know a lot about nothing. And I say that humbly because I feel like right when you think you've mastered something or that you know everything about it, you know, life comes around the corner and it shows you, hey, it's much more. I come from great musicians, uh, Buddy Bolden, Bunk Johnson, King Joe Oliver, Louis Armstrong, Roy Eldridge, Dizzy Gillespie, Clifford Brown, uh, Miles Davis, Fast Navarro, uh, when Marsalis, even to the Nicholas Payton, and uh, sad to, that we lost him, uh, one of my favorites, Roy Hargrove. I'm just being me when I make my music because it's just genuinely me. I'm very thankful for uh, certain mentors in my life, such as uh, Erwin Stuckey, um, Craig Bailey, Marlon McKay, these men reaching out to me, um, Elder David, saying that you can just be yourself. I mean, not everyone's necessarily gonna like it, 
Not everyone's gonna necessarily love it too, but you're being genuinely you. And when it comes to the music, it's the same thing. We all have emotions, we all we have families, we got stuff that we're going through, stuff that we don't tell people about. But listen, we're going through this thing together, you know. I'm gonna lean on somebody's shoulder one day, so you can lean on mine. And that's how I got the um, connection to the melody of this ballad that I just recently wrote. If you want love, you show love. Even through adversity, even through people that don't show you the love that you necessarily would uh, like. Because it all comes back. <laughs>